Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Since the beginning of this invasion or special operation in Ukraine, it seems like uh, special forces, uh, we can point fingers, uh, were trying to get Israel uh, to be against Russia. Now, we know that Israel is uh, against everyone and is with itself, which that's the way it should be. Uh, you care for you and then uh, if you need something you try to uh, use each and every one that's how it is in foreign policy when they say they're allies they're allies just to do something right now and then they could be enemies the next day that's the way it is or the friends and all that look in history and see that your uh, enemies from yesterday are your friends today and then again your enemies tomorrow and again your friends in a week uh, there's many examples. Uh, look, <laughs> look at Germany, for instance, and you see how many. Look at France. Look at uh, Great Britain. Uh, that's okay. So that's the way it is. Interest, interest of your nation, and so on. Now, Israel uh, did not condemn Russia. Did not uh, support uh, uh, Ukraine. Did not want to get involved in that for certain reasons. Uh, now there's a little problem. It seems like. Uh, Israel is becoming more and more aggressive in the Middle East. Uh, people say self-defense, whatever the justification, you just don't strike a sovereign country that did not strike you. If it struck, struck you, you strike it. I think that's fair game. That's the way it is. If someone punches you and or shoots at you from his house, you shoot him back. Now, and uh, you try to be kind of proportionate or you just end the game and that's it. But at least you do some uh, warning shots and then um, I think uh, um, Israel did that, you know, warning shots and also direct shots. Now, what happens here? I think these forces outside, they want to get pin Ukraine against Ukraine, uh, Israel against Russia. And they're going to try through Syria. They tried with some refugees, uh, Jewish refugees or uh, a, ra a rabbi in a, a rabbi i'm sorry rabbi it's a different kind of uh, pronunciation in other languages so the a rabbi the moscow rabbi just fled moscow and said i'm not gonna be here because i don't like it blah 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 uh, then they tried to say that the diaspora the, or the jewish population living in uh, russia is this and that is maybe attacked by the russians and you know the new programs are here programs are here you know uh, and so on and now they tried with syria now in syria uh, there were some very close uh, calls between uh, israelis uh, fighter jets or bombers and uh, the um, defense systems the air defense systems uh, provided by the russians to the syrians and by the russians themselves and uh, now we have a problem because uh, the the jewish state does what it does best and now Lavrov is a little bit upset. Um, you can say, well, who cares? Well, I don't know. We'll find out. This article comes from Reuters from August 23rd, 2022. Russia's Lavrov condemns Israeli missile strikes on Syria. So they don't use planes, they use missiles. Maybe they use the planes with the missiles because that's uh, usually what they do. They come over, hit it, and then go back. But let's see. So Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Tuesday condemned Israeli missile attacks against Syria in comments that underline a chill in once warm Russian-Israel relations. Yeah, they're getting the Russians tangled in that too. They try to get the Russians tangled in Georgia. They tried in Azerbaijan. Uh, they tried, obviously, they got him in Ukraine. They try to get Israel on over there. They try to get everybody that is like, oh, I don't want to touch this... Uh, can of worms. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Oh, you got it. And they grab you to get you in. So Lavrov was speaking at the joint new, joint new conference alongside his Syrian counterpart, Faisal Megdad. Russia is a key backer of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and his government. They are the ones that keep over their normality, however normal things could be, it seems, in the area. Um, as the Russians said many times, what, do you want Syria to become uh, Libya or Iraq or Afghanistan? Is that what you want? I mean, you built enough countries uh, so far, so uh, we don't want Syria to be built by your example either. So it's a stable kind of secure country, sovereign country, independent country, still recognized by the United Nations. 
all right so you can't just shoot in it you can just violate it airspace sovereign country remember ukraine <laughs> that's why sometimes you don't sometimes you don't take these guys serious when they are like so frown about hey you did this to this guys hey and you say yeah but yesterday you did you did that to the other country the same thing how about that hey i think you have a very poor record of uh, human rights violations here <laughs> okay here we go again like you don't um, but that's the way it goes and eventually goes to this who's got a faster fist all right so we, i'm quoting lavrov we strongly condemned the dangerous practice of israeli strikes on syrian territory lavrov said which is true and the united states should say the same thing but <laughs> don't hold your breath and if they say they say oh we condemn that <laughs> now let's have a party <laughs> they don't care uh, we demand uh, lavrov said that israel respect the resolutions of the United Nations Security Council and above all respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Syria anything wrong with all these statements you say well Lavrov you just attacked uh, you just attacked uh, how do you call it uh, Ukraine yeah when Lavrov was, is, well, could say yeah because the other guys were committing genocide against my people what do you want you want a punch in your face too now <laughs> so yeah as long as there are some Jews over there that are massacred by the Syrian people the Israelis should stay out or if rockets are shot from the Syrian army or whomever these guys are shooting back the same fair game hit them Israel but I don't know if that's the case though Israel hit Iranian targets they say in a series of strikes on August 14 near Assad's ancestral home region and also close to Russia's main Syrian bases on the Mediterranean coast regional intelligence and Syrian military sources say okay well yeah they hit iranian targets uh, remember syria and russia are the only countries that have legitimacy being in syria not israel not united states of america that has troops over there and sucks the oil in the eastern syria not great not great britain who has still uh, people over there no 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 no. so that's illegal occupation it's an invasion isn't it and a plundering oil speaking at the same news conference in moscow mcdad gave lavrov his backing to russia's actions in ukraine which Moscow? okay i scratch my back you sc i scratch your back you scratch my back i got that one now they talk about uh, lavrov said that nazi leader blah 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 we go back to that they try to shame him that's what they do when they don't have when they don't have western civilization logic and uh, base fa fa and fact based uh, argument they are going to hurt you with the feelings and try to assassinate your character by calling you names and making all kind of uh, connections between what you said with different criminals that in the past so if you say well uh, Emil right now you wear a white shirt guess what Stalin wore a, a white shirt so you must like Stalin you are a criminal this is the connection they make you're like what uh, well then you uh, use words and stalin used words as well so you must be a sympathizer as well and by the way you wear shoes and hitler wore shoes too so mm, mm, mm. and mao zedong wore a hat and what about you you see three out of three what are we gonna do so if we talk like kids in a schoolyard then yeah we end up like kids and uh, the problem is they have nuclear weapons these kids so the argumentation argumentation like this is dangerous you have kids with nuclear bombs no not good outcome so they try to try the in may lavrov said nazi leader adolf hitler had jewish roots a statement which triggered outrage in israel blah, blah, blah. okay so maybe he said, that's what he said did he apologize no he didn't they claim that putin called the prime minister of israel and apologized i doubt that what occurred i don't know i mean imagine putin the dictator the biggest guy calls for his uh, subordinate someone else to say I, I, I apologize because he said something that might uh, might have offended you no if Putin is the one that this guy say he is he would say no Lavrov if that was wrong and I don't know if it, uh, Putin uh, thought that was wrong because I didn't hear any statements coming from him saying that you go and call him or you're fired or nothing so these guys claim that Putin called uh, the prime minister of israel i don't know why 
if, why and if, but it doesn't really matter. It was not Lavrov. So uh, yes, I think that um, we should apply the same uh, you know, uh, rule of law or whatever, the law-based uh, global uh, <laughs> I don't know, functioning and have, uh, if these guys should uh, destroy or attack a sovereign country, as the Russians did, then they should be condemned. And there are resolutions that condemn that. And they, you know, it's just... But some people, when you see that, imagine that you're in a classroom and some people are allowed to do something by uh, the, the teacher and you're not allowed to do the same thing that those guys are doing. And you're called bad boy and they're called good boy. So what's going on here? It's not very hard to... Uh, figure out the uh, hypocrisy, right? All right, well, a strong words from uh, Russian foreign minister. Israel will don't do anything, but I'm assuming the, there will be an accident. I'm assuming there will be an accident. Maybe there were and we don't know yet. And it's not impossible whatsoever. We just heard about the, about two months ago about that close call uh, incident. For a month, everybody was like zipped. How come? And o only after a month, they started talking about it. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, not pretty, I'm convinced that there are incidents that occurred over there that zipped it. Between the Americans and Russians in Syria and others, not the ones they give us here. Oh, they shot, they killed, they, oh yeah, okay. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.